Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about why I think the Arizona Diamondbacks could be a threat in the NL West this year. Before I begin, if you're new here today and you're looking for some more baseball insight, feel free to subscribe down below. The Diamondbacks last year finished with a record of 85 and 77. However, that put them about 21 games behind the Dodgers and four games back of the second wild card spot. The Diamondbacks in 2019 were a pretty average team. For about 60 games, they were within two games of 500, which actually set a record for the longest time within two games of 500. They finished 12th in pitching, 11th in hitting, and 10th in fielding. The problem that seemed to stick out for the Diamondbacks last year was their production with runners in scoring position, especially in late inning situations. They just couldn't seem to get the job done to help them win games. However, there were some bright spots last year. Out of nowhere, Cattell Marte had an amazing season. Marte was an absolute stud last year. He batted 329 with 32 home runs and 92 RBIs. He finished with a 389 on base percentage, which ranked him 11th in the majors. And he also finished with a 592 slugging percentage, which ranked him sixth in the majors. Eduardo Escobar also had a solid season. While he did strike out a bit, he did finish with 35 home runs and 118 RBIs, providing solid power in the middle of that order. One key addition the Diamondbacks made during the season was for Zach Gallen. They got him at the trade deadline for their number one prospect, but down the stretch in eight starts, he finished with an ERA below three, and he should be slotting nicely into that rotation in 2020. They also bolstered their rotation even further by trading for Mike Leak from the Seattle Mariners. Mike Leak was his usual self. He started 10 games for the Diamondbacks. He had an ERA in the low fours, but he did what he does best and that's just eat innings. The Diamondbacks have been unexpectedly busy this offseason, especially after trading away Zach Greinke at the trade deadline last year to the Astros. For the offense, they added Cole Calhoun, and he had a pretty solid year last year. While Calhoun's average was a little low last year, where he batted 233, he did hit 33 home runs and provided 74 RBIs. He's going to give you great defense in right field, and he should fit nicely into that fifth or sixth spot in the lineup. But the big addition that no one saw coming was Madison Bumgarner signing a five-year deal with the Diamondbacks. Bumgarner threw 194 innings last year. He posted a 12-10 record for a pretty bad Giants team. And he had a whip of around 1.25, I believe. He had a pretty solid season last year on a bad team. We all know Bumgarner has established himself as one of the best, if not the best, postseason pitcher of all time. He is going to be bringing you experience into that rotation. He's going to be providing leadership. He's only going to make that rotation even better. It already has solid pieces as is. The rotation wasn't bad prior, but when you're adding Madison Bumgarner to the top of it, it's only going to make the whole rotation better. Behind Bumgarner, you got guys like Robbie Ray, Mike Leake, Merrill Kelly, Luke Weaver, Zach Gallon, like I said earlier. You got some pretty solid pieces in that rotation. And with Bumgarner leading the way, I could see that pitching staff being pretty good this year. The Diamondbacks bullpen is also pretty decent. You got Archie Bradley leading the way after Greg Holland left last year. You got Andrew Chafin right there. You got Kevin Ginkle. You got Yoan Lopez. It's a pretty decent bullpen already. So when you combine all of those things, like an improved rotation with the addition of Madison Bumgarner, a pretty decent bullpen, an improved offense with the addition of Cole Calhoun, and an improved defense, you could have a recipe here for a team that maybe could unseat the Dodgers who have won the NL West for the last eight years. Now, could I see the Diamondbacks winning the NL West? Maybe. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. I think the Dodgers are just too talented. They are still going to hold that crown for the NL West. But do I see a team that could go for one of those wild card spots? Absolutely. I could easily see the Diamondbacks winning 93 to maybe even 96 games. That team can really come together. They have a lot of good ingredients in there. That could be easily 
a wild card team. And when you have Madison Bumgarner in the postseason in a potential wild card game, you have to give the edge to Bumgarner. You could easily see the Diamondbacks winning that wild card game and moving on to the division series. Now, do I see the Diamondbacks making it further past that point? I mean, probably not, but man, when you got Madison Bumgarner, that guy has just been nails in the postseason. Hey, you never know. So in the end, I think the Diamondbacks are going to be a pretty good team next year. It's going to be, you know, a wait and see to see if they can beat the Dodgers for the West title. But hey, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm going to be providing more and more content. This is a new channel, so more subscribers is definitely helpful. If you like the content today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me what you think the Diamondbacks are going to do this year. Leave a comment down below. Do you think they're going to be good? Do you think they're going to be bad? Do you think they could win the World Series? Let me know. I will see you next time.